St. Sophia's job today, and we have the drill truck in the back, and this is what it looks like when they do the drill truck. This is a Rick. Rick is going to be on a naked drillless magazine. That's what I, and a Terrence is already on the star of a naked drillless magazine. That's what I, and what do we have here? What is the name of this tank, Rick? A mud tub. And what are they doing now? Is this a drill is operating by hydraulics? And the hydraulics is pushing it down onto the drill steel. And the drill steel is looking for a solid piece of a coral. And we are at a 13 feet right now, ladies and gentlemen. And this, are you going to add a section? And they're going to add a section right now. And how they add a section is that the sections are a thread, T-H-R-E-A-D, threaded sections. And they push this down, and they back it off, and they reverse the drill, and they take out of the threads, and then they add one more section to this uh, operation. And the Terrence is backing off of the drill steel now. And you could have seen where she's a break like that. And like this, like Obama goes like this, and like that. And then we put in a drill steel section. They put it, they wipe it down so she's a nice and a clean. Maybe. First, we're gonna try to sample this rock. And inside of that drill steel, she's a hollow, and she pushes that the water down in through the through the drill steel as a lubrication down into the rock. Yeah. Yeah, I just I, I realize a lot of that stuff I'm pulling out I ain't need. They're gonna be backing off of the drill steel now a little bit. And ladies and gentlemen, I kinda tell you this will work she's a very dangerous work. She's not something that you kinda just to learn how to do in a shorter period of a time. Because you make a mistake even with a little teeny piece of drill steel like this, and you kind of get a very hurt very, very fast. And they break of the drill steel. And this is the cutting head of the drill steel that a Terrence just places into the water. And they're going to add a 30 inch piece of a steel and they go down in the stages each time they put another piece of steel on she adds a little bit of steel to the depth of the cutting head I got it oh, okay. this is the cutting head of the drill steel and she rotates like this and like that. Thank you, Terrence. And that the drill still kind of go through coral rock and it kind of go through, also kind of go through granite or just about any type of a rock that you might have. get of that section and now they're going to bang it down there ladies and gentlemen they're going to bang it down into the ground that's right and this is, this is a story stick he has over there that's called a story stick so they don't have to use a ruler and you kind of see she's bouncing I'm going to show you how they make that steel go up and down. It's a, it's a call the friction, and they use a piece of a hemp rope on this. And when he pulls on the rope with his hand, it causes more friction on the drum, and the drum binds up on the brake. The, the drum binds up, and it, it acts like a clutch of the friction from a Rick's hand. And he kind of pull that back and forth as hard as he wants. And that drum will bind up on that rope. And they still use a piece of a hemp rope. I do this work 30 years ago. 
and they use a hemp rope then and they still use the hemp rope that's amazing I've never come up with a better option and you kind of see this is a very dangerous work because if you get your hand stuck inside of that the clutch she's not to stop it because you have your hand in there and you kind of see when you're not pulling on the rope the clutch is off. It's like a clutch. It's a friction thing. Basically everything works like that, like a friction. And this is the motor. This is a little diesel motor that operates the hydraulic pump. And this is the tank for the fluid for the hydraulics. And this is the stick or the boom. And this boom is about a 20 feet, 21 feet high. We're going to back off and show you now the whole truck. I'll show you Rick doing 